an exquisite, uplifting versus battle tonight. If you missed this event, you missed a show, but don't you worry because Sugar is here to give you all the details and let you know what I have to say about that. The event opens up with Bishop T.D. Jace and he gives us a powerful, uplifting and just comfort and prayer yes indeed he set that tone right and i said yes we're about to get to charge a few comments that were funny in the comment section as the event began one of my favorites was will Sirach be the communion sponsor for the event that was kind of funny i like that my other comment that i enjoyed is the lady in the front hat is too big i need to move my seat yes indeed so it really gave us that good church flair and on sunday and it is pentecostal sunday so you know we were fully geeked up and ready to celebrate yes a few guest attendees in the church service on today. Steph Curry, Kerry Washington was there, Chance the Rapper, Snoop Dogg, he is always there to support versus battle. Little John was in there. I said, come on now, Little John, supporting for the people on this good Sunday. Tory Lanez, he came late to the church service, but that's okay, because you know people always come late to church, but you just let them come quietly with the finger through the aisle and everyone is welcome. They were playing some songs I have not heard in a long time. All of the church choir hits. You want to talk about Bless in the City. You want to talk about Melody, some heaven, yes! You want to talk about silver and gold. Oh, you want to talk about Hosanna in the highest? Oh, now behold the lamb. Yes, I said, let's go. And then Kirk Franklin was talking about his songs that came out in the 90s. And he said, yes, you know, back in the day when we had the shoulder pads in the suit jacket. Yes, they were definitely shoulder pads. I don't miss those things. There were a few special guests that were in the battle tonight. Exciting. Kurt Franklin played Melodies from Heaven and then invited his wife to come and dance with him. I say, y'all too better dance. Special guests that were in attendance outside of him dancing with his wife. He brought onto the scene Marvin Sapp. I said, come on now, bring a special guest. Let me tell you something, y'all. Okay, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer took it up, but Kurt Franklin and Fred Hammond took it to the next, 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 next level with special guests so Marvin Sapp came out I said come on now and he said in case y'all don't know who this is Marvin give them a little taste and he said never would have made it and he's like yes yes I know who this is now in addition to him we had Tamala man that came out when Tamala appeared right the attendants or the viewers rather were at 260,000 Tamala a man came out and I don't know if people started DMing their friends but the viewers jumped 10,000 more and we went instantaneously to 270,000 and climbing and you know what she came up to say you know what she came out to sing take me to the king yes and the comments were on fire you saw hands raising oh. Lord, she brought the flavor as she normally does. You know that girl can sing. Another special guest that appeared unexpected and just so amazing. This was special guest came by phone was Ahmaud Aubrey's mother. Kirk Franklin called her and encouraged her and let her know that we are all crying with her. We are all with her because you know so much has been happening. Back to back people have been killed. Sometimes you get confused. You're like, who, who are we talking about the same person? So I was so glad that he let her know that even though so we are amidst mourning George Floyd's murder, right? That we have not forgotten your son. So uh, that one said the tears in the comment section. All of the tears emojis came out. I mean, they were singing each other's song. They prepared. The sound was exquisite. So I appreciated all the work that went into the production. Kudos to them. But overall, you left and it was about 
two and a, almost two and a half hours, but it didn't matter. It went by wonderfully. You just appreciated number one, their brilliance as songwriters, as performers. Cause I tell you, Kurt Franklin, he is something to study. Kurt Franklin energy is crazy. I believe he's either 50 or over 50, but whatever nutrients that he is taking, cause he been like hype all day. People tell me I'm hype, but when I look at Kirk, I feel like I need to turn more up. Okay, whatever you taking Kirk, I need to get some of that so that I can turn up even more. But his energy is so infectious. He's just so overjoyed, so happy. He was funny, he was uplifting. Oh, and that their music has stood the test of time. These two artists were going hit for hit. Okay, hit the hit back to back. For example, Kirk Franklin played Melodies from Heaven and then Fred Hammond came back with No Weapon. Kirk Franklin played Stomp and then Fred Hammond came back with Bless in the City so they knew they were prepared and they had enough music in their canon, in their catalog to really counter each other. Y'all, it was amazing. And they debuted, which is the part I always enjoy in the versus battle. Some new music coming out, so let me give you the exclusive. Kurt Franklin actually has a new video coming out tomorrow from his newest album called Long Live Love, and the name of the song is Strong God. And you know what? If you had not had the opportunity to take a listen to the album, you should. It is very inspiring, full of hits in classic Kurt Franklin fashion. So look out for that video tomorrow. Fred Hammond gave us a peek into some new music as well. I don't know when this song is coming out. I, I might have missed that part, but that song is called All Right. And I'm sure if you go on to YouTube and do a little scrolling through, you should be able to find it. And then you too will be all right. <laughs> Swiss Beats and Timberland. As an artist and an appreciator of music, I appreciate what they are doing. Just so we can talk about some facts to the figures so you see what type of amazing job they are doing. Beanie Man and Bounty Killer had their best streaming day in 2020 after the versus battle and to support that billboard report because those are the numbers I was waiting for, okay? After the versus battle in my neighborhood for the whole day on Sunday, all I heard was Beanie Man and Bounty Killer classics playing in people car all day. So billboard, yes, I can verify that fact. So this is about the numbers, y'all. Not only are they bringing us wonderful, uplifting entertainment during this time of coronavirus, they are also helping to boost the sales of the artists that are on these battles. If you did not have the opportunity to see this versus battle at 5 p.m. here on Sunday, you can still go on to Instagram and go on to Versus TV and just watch the entire presentation and just be moved by the amazing event. This was one of the top, top of Versus Battle. Beanie Man Bounty Killer, but I think this one tops because it just really moved the people and you just felt so incredible. And I was glad that I was there to be a part of yet another amazing versus battle. Please let me know your thoughts. Did you watch it? What did you think? And if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more sugar content, then don't forget to click the like button, of course, and to subscribe. And that's about all sugar has to say about that.